Hey, it's Emily Williams, the founder of I Heart My Life, and you are host of the I Heart My Life show. This is episode 171, Six Figures in Six Months, part three. So once again, if you haven't listened to parts one and two, go back and check those out. We talk a bit about my story as well as some of the big mindset shifts that I made in order to reach six figures in my business very quickly. Now, part three is all about the business decisions and some of the strategy that I put in place in the very beginning. I love this story because I was such a novice and such a newbie, but I wanted it so bad. So I was willing to do anything. I invested in working with coaches. I put myself out there. I got on sales call after sales call. I did all the things. And so I really broke down what exactly worked for me in this episode. And I think you're really going to love it. And once again, this was recorded back in early 2015, so a lot has happened since then, but I've gotten such incredible feedback from this series that I wanted to put it on the podcast for all of you to hear and revisit. And I think it's really important to always reflect on the things that worked for us because there are things that I did back then to really jumpstart my finances, jumpstart my success, jumpstart my company that I can apply to today. Sometimes we forget the things that helped us up level, and it's really great to think about those and remind ourselves what worked back then, because it can definitely work today. So I hope you love this episode. Let's go ahead and dive in. This episode is sponsored by iHeart Coaching, our signature program for new and aspiring online coaches. iHeart Coaching is your one-stop shop designed to support you in becoming the next standout online coach. Whether you're brand new to the digital space or looking to take your coaching business to the next level, this is a comprehensive program that's going to show you how to build a successful coaching business from A to Z. We're going to share how to generate maximum revenue and book out your calendar with dream clients. To learn more, go to iHeartCoaching.com. Hi, everyone. It's Emily Williams here. I'm the founder of I Heart My Life, and I'm a success coach. And this is the third training in your Six Figures training series. Um, I'm really excited about this one. I want to just do a mini recap of the trainings that you've already had so far. Um, so they were pretty much all about mindset and and, and um, less tangible things, I guess you could say. Um, but equally, they are equally as important. So I just want to recap them really quickly. Um, so the first thing we learned in the uh, first training was all about saying yes to your dreams, despite not knowing exactly where they're going to take you. Um, and of course, that also involves following um, your butterflies as I said, not letting that fear hold you back and really going for it. Um, and it also involves starting before you're ready and where you're that half a step ahead. And I know that's a that's a, a tricky one for a lot of people um, because we want to wait until we're 100% ready. But honestly, that does not serve us. And frankly, that might that time might never come. <laughs> so that's why it's so important to start before you're ready in every respect. Um, and then of course, you know, investing in yourself and your business is something that I told you was really, really key. And again, you know, that is so important. That's really been the key to my success before I invested in my own training and my high level coach. Um, I was pretty much just flailing about, not really knowing what in the world I was doing in my business or what direction to go or who I even wanted to serve. Um, So, you know, we don't know everything as entrepreneurs. We um, have access to incredible, talented people for a reason. Um, So definitely use them in that respect Um, and really work in a smart way as well. That's what we also talked about. And then in training two, um, we talked all about your mindset. And again, as I said, this is one of my favorite topics in the world. I could talk about it forever. Um, and there's definitely far more to discuss than, than what, um, than what we spoke about on the training. So one thing to really shift is the fact that your clients, um, are on their way to you and to also just really channel the fact that, you know what, you were meant to do this work and, um, I see so many people suffering from comparison hangovers, um, And so we talked about really channeling your jealousy in terms of knowing that if you're feeling jealous about something, then that's a great indicator that you'd love to have it yourself or you'd love to do it yourself. So really channel that. Also remember that everything is figure outable and to avoid going into overwhelm. And we also talked about how important it is to believe that something in success and whatever it is you desire is already yours. So we talked about visualizing your desires and the life that you really want. And then we also talked about money mindset, which which is another very juicy topic. Um, So we talked about money story, what your beliefs are about money, 
how to really transform that money story and also how important that is. Um, So I just want to start off with a quote today, because if you're feeling any sort of negativity about, well, you know, I have so much to do, I have so much to work on, I have to grow in so many places in order to make this work. Well, I just want to encourage you today to... Um, you know, recognize then, of course, that, of course, you know, there, we all have weaknesses, we all have room for growth. But that's really just a chance for you to grow stronger. And so it's great that you're recognizing that right now. So many people just go through the motions of life and don't ever try to improve themselves or their businesses. And like I said, just flail about, about and play that guessing game. So you are different. And I just want to share this quote that I really love. It's actually by Jane Fonda. I heard it on one of Oprah's um, specials where she interviewed her. And she says, "Uh, muscle strength is actually microscopic tears in the muscle that take 48 hours to repair and get stronger. That's what failure is to us too, tearing and then becoming stronger. If you allow yourself, you can become stronger in the very places that you've been broken. You can think you're being broken, but you're really being broken open so you can grow stronger in those places. So if you feel broken today, and if you feel some sort of lack in your life, or if you feel some sort of um, disappointment, you know, I know I went through a period of 54 people saying no to me, as I'm sure you've heard me say, and that was not fun. (laughs) I have to admit that, but um, I learned a lot. And it was definitely a chance for me to grow stronger. It was a chance for my business to go in a different direction. Um, and I, I, it was really an awakening to the fact that I needed that extra support in my life in terms of a high level coach and in, in a group program as well. Um, so this is your opportunity to grow stronger. You can do it. Um, you're just being broken up open a bit today so that you can, you can heal back together even stronger. You can gain an awareness and you can, um, really learn about yourself, your business and what you want from your life. So do keep that in mind. Um, so today, you know, I really want to talk about what we can do um, structurally to go from that small business up to, you know, six figures um, in, in a quick period of time. So I just want to highlight once more how key investing in my business has been to my success. Um, you know, people ask me all the time, what changed for you? What shifted? How did you go from those 54 no's to having a six figure business in six months? And Honestly, it was because I learned from the best um, and I didn't try and do all of this by myself. Um, So before I started working with my coach, I was really confused about the type of person I wanted to work with. I also didn't know much about marketing. I also didn't have the confidence to get over any sort of fear of being too salesy and really put myself out there. I was, um, I've always had big dreams, but at the same time, I wasn't acting on them in a smart way because I didn't have the knowledge. Like, of course, like I said, we're not born successful female entrepreneurs. So how are we going to have that, that knowledge without learning from the best and doing research? And, you know, we spend so many years of our life going to university, of our lives going to university or, you know, studying, that first 22 to 24 years is really all about school and education. And then for some reason, we think, you know, when we decide to start a company or switch gears, we think, oh, no, we don't need further education. You know, we've got it. We can handle it. And that's really such a myth. And I was totally that little girl with her arms folded across her chest saying that she could do it herself. And then I woke up to the reality that I was by doing that, I was taking the much, much, much longer route to success. Um, so if you are like me and that you want it done like yesterday, then please invest in yourself and your business by hiring a high level coach. Um, again, I just want you to really, really understand how important it is to invest in yourself and your business. Otherwise, you're going to be throwing money out the window. I know for one, you know, you and I are going to talk about Facebook ads right now. Um, but when I was before I was working with a coach and before I decided to invest in working with a Facebook ads expert, again, I was like playing this guessing game and literally throwing money out the window. And so if that's where you're at, if you're throwing money at marketing and designing your website yourself and writing everything for, you know, your copy and your ads and everything like that, and you aren't getting any expert advice, you're essentially throwing money out the window. So I just want you to have an awareness around that and also have an awareness that, um, you know, there's a reason why 
the best doctors in the world and the best lawyers in the world and the best, you know, PhDs um, train for so long and invest in their education, right? It's obviously really important to them. And so why is running a business any different? Um, you know, that doesn't, it, 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 I used to be in the same boat. I used to think I was going to do it all myself, but now that doesn't really make sense to me at all. Um, so if you are trying to do something big in the world, please reach out, get the support that you need. There's people like myself who are more than willing to go the extra mile and to support you in your dreams and really help you get the life that you've always wanted. Um, because that's definitely part of it. I mean, I was someone who was totally broke living in London, unable to do anything that I really wanted to do in my life, like go out to dinner and um, travel and all that good stuff. And now, um, you know, everything has changed. I'm about to travel the world this year in Australia and Italy and France and um, even ending with an African safari. <laughs> so I'll be all over. And, 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 you know, my husband and I have our dream flat now. And I actually have savings in the bank instead of $30,000 in credit card debt. So if that's what you want, please invest in yourself. I had to put the first programs that I did on my credit card. And one was actually on my husband's credit card. So I know that feeling. But if you have the access to a credit card or access to a bank loan or something like that, then it's really your duty um, to start investing in your business and really taking this to the next level instead of playing that guessing game. And like I said, you're probably throwing money out the window right now, or at least throwing time out the window. Um, so please, please, please step up to the plate, invest in yourself and your business and the life that you really want by hiring high level coaches like me, um, being involved in group programs, whatever it really takes to help you achieve your dreams. The funds are out there. You can get interest-free business loans. You can get interest-free credit cards. Um, there are options for you. So that's, that's just something I really want you to understand. Okay, cool. So I'm going to get into 10 steps I have um, for you to um, really put the structures in place in your business in terms of, you know, bringing in the sales, doing the whole marketing thing, um, everything that I basically did to go from nothing to the six figures in my business. And I'm going to be honest right now, I'm going to give you the 10 points. Um, we don't have all the time in the world to go through them in great depth, um, which again is another reason why you want to be working with a high level coach who can help you with all of this stuff. Um, but I'm going to give you exactly what it is that I did to go from nothing to the six figures in six months. So again, I got, I worked with my coach on getting really clear on who my ideal client was. Um, because before that I was again, guessing and didn't really know who I wanted to work with, who lit me up, who wanted to work with me. <laughs> um, you know, those are two really big things. Like, who do I want to work with? But then who also is attracted to me? Um, so those are definitely the starting points in terms of your business. And Figuring out also, you know, what are the services that that client is really going to be lit up by? Are they going to want to do a 90 day program or a group program or, you know, whatever it is that your company offers? Are they going to want something um, that's one on one? Are they going to want something with workbooks or PDFs? Are they going to want something that they can download straight away? Um, so, so what is it that they really want? What's going to make them run to get their credit card out to work with you? That's so key. Um, and then you will also need to know you know, how can you market to this person? Where are they? Are Facebook ads going to work? Um, what about blogs? Like what if you were a guest blogger? Are people reading your newsletter? Um, where are these people located basically? And obviously part of that is really building your list and marketing to them. So you need to have a newsletter list in, in place and really be building that. Um, and because that's the way that you communicate with your potential clients. So there's a school of thought that says people need to have at least five experiences with you before they buy. Um, and I've really seen that, to, seen that to be true. You know, when I launch a program, we all like to think that, you know, the, the floodgates are going to open and your, your website's going to crash because so many people are rushing to sign up for your program. And, you know, maybe there's some companies who experience that, but I haven't met any of them, <laughs> at least not in this industry. And so it does take a lot of marketing and it takes a lot of knowledge of who your ideal client really is. It takes you doing that research. Um, and you need to know where they are, like what lights them up in terms of, like I said, in terms of marketing. Um, I personally love quotes. So I'm doing a lot of things with quotes, but you know, it, there's much more to it than that. Um, 
So what is going to really resonate with your ideal client and get them to notice you and want to purchase your packages. And again, there's, there's a big process with figuring out with what that is. Um, and so one of the things I really learned how to do in the past six months is to take advantage of Facebook ads. I work with my own Facebook ad expert. So, you know, I'm not an, an expert in that. I know definitely enough to set it up and to, to target people and to get results. But I, I always recommend working with experts um, in every area, basically. So if you know someone that can support you in that, I would highly recommend it. Um, you know, so, so the whole process is figuring out what that ideal client is, what sort of offering lights them up um, and also lights you up. Um, how can you market to them? Where are you going to be able to reach them? And I find that my clients are very much um, active on Facebook. So Facebook ads have really worked for me. And when you send when you when you create your Facebook ad, you basically don't send people to a sales page because I haven't had any success with that. So just creating that Facebook ad and then sending them to a sales page all about your program, it's not enough. Again, you have to build that relationship. And so how can you do that? Who are these people? Like how are they going to connect with you? Are they going to connect through a teleclass or through a workbook or um, do they need to read things in your newsletter every single week about your life and personal stories? Like what is, what makes them connect to you and want to buy from you? Um, and the way that I found that this works for me is by sending people from a Facebook ad to a landing page, which contains information about a teleclass that I'm hosting or a webinar or some sort of free download like this, where they can get information about my services. They can get information about my expertise, really get to know me. As you know, I, I normally share my story until, like, until I'm blue in the face, basically, because <laughs> as women, we connect through stories. And so I found that to be really, really vital in my success. Um, and I haven't been afraid to be the face of my brand and really be the voice of my brand and to tell people why it is I do what I do, why I'm so passionate about this work, why um, it's so important to me, and why I believe in your gifts and your talents and your unique abilities that are needed in this world. And so I I'm constantly connecting with my clients. I'm constantly putting stuff out there about myself and my life and my experiences. I'm very vocal about the fact that I started a business when I was $33,000 in debt. And, you know, I've had to get over my fear of talking about money, but I realized that people really wanted to hear about my story and money and, and lack thereof <laughs> was definitely a big part of it. And now money and abundance is a big part of my current story um, in my current life. And so I'm, I'm willing to share all of that with people. And so you need to know what it is that your clients want to hear. What is it that they um, get really lit up by? I personally um, know that my clients also have the desire to have a six-figure lifestyle, which is why I'm doing this, this series for you. I, I, have the, I know that my clients also have the desire to have a seven-figure business someday. Um, so maybe that will be the next one. Um, so, you know, you have to really know your clients inside and out and what it is that's going to appeal to them and, and help connect you with them because that's really the most important thing. I mean, if you look at Tom's, for example, the, the shoe company, People love this story. They love the fact that, you know, Tom, the, the, the creator, I know his name isn't Tom, but I'm drawing a blank at the moment. Um, but he, you know, created the shoes. Um, he, he had a purpose for this company, you know, like when you buy a pair of Toms, they donate a pair of Toms. Um, and so people really, really resonate with that. People resonate with my story. As I said, um, I'm sure people will resonate with yours if you're willing to open up and share it. Everyone has a story. Everyone has their own trials and experiences. And so yours are your unique to you. So use them to your advantage and use them to connect with people. And so you'll see on my Facebook ads, I normally do tell a story. It's not normally just like, you know, a three, a three um, sentence ad. There's normally some sort of story there. And I found that that works really well for me. And from Facebook ads, I do. I send people to the teleclasses or to um, webinars or something of value where they connect with me. They get something for free. Um, they get to know a little bit more about why I do what I do in my services, um, just like we're talking about right now. Um, so it's important that people see your expertise right away and they connect with you. And, and like I said, normally sending people from a Facebook ad to a landing page is the way to do it versus sending them to a sales page um, where you're just pitching your, at your, your programs or your services or your offerings and that's it. Um, so again, you know, this, one of the reasons why I've become so successful in a short amount of time is, is not just because I've shared my story, but because 
I've also shared my programs and my services and have been very vocal about the fact that um, I believe in them and I believe that they will help people get the results that they want. And so I meet so many women who come to me and they're like, oh no, I can't talk about that. I, I have a fear. You know, I'm, I'm too scared of being too salesy. Um, I don't want to go there. People aren't going to like that. People are going to, that's going to put people off. And frankly, um, I remember hearing an, uh, an Oprah quote where she said her whole life, you know, she was really, really negative to herself. She um, wasn't necessarily confident and she bad mouthed herself because we all grew up with the belief that being mean to ourselves is the way to get something done, which is absolutely ridiculous. But now she said, you know, she really aspires to be full of herself. <laughs> um, and I really loved that. And whether you do or not, you, you can see the point. Um, you have to really put yourself out there in terms of your programs and your offerings and your services and not be scared. Um, like I said, it, it takes people like five interactions with you to be able to even feel comfortable to buy. So you have to amp up the marketing. Um, so when people are in teleclasses with me, you know, they get multiple email emails from me. They hear about my programs. They hear about why I do what I do. I'm really honest with people in that I'm not running a charity shop. I'm running a business. Um, if you want to take your business and your life to the next level and get success quickly, I'm the person to help you do that. Um, so the sooner you can get over any sort of fear of being salesy, the better. Um, and the thing is, is the way I really flipped the switch with that is to believe that my services were so needed in the world that I was actually depriving the world of those services and of what they needed by not sharing them and telling people about them. So that's really the extreme flip that you have to do in your mind. So again, this goes back to mindset work. Um, so like I said, you do the Facebook ads to landing pages where you talk about teleclasses or some sort of webinar, something that you're offering for free. And then you tell people about your services via email or even on the call. Um, so I'm constantly in touch with my list. I send out about three emails per week. Um, normally one's a newsletter and one is something a bit more... Um, it's more about my programs and it's a marketing sort of email. Um, so, you know, and I have no shame in that. If people want to unsubscribe, they can unsubscribe, right? Like you really cannot say the right thing to the wrong people. Um, so, so I would just drop that fear as quickly as you possibly can. I don't want to belittle that fear, but because I know it's very real for a lot of you, but honestly, like just keep putting yourself out there the right people and your ideal clients, they want to hear more about your programs. They want to hear why you're doing what you're doing. They want to see results that your clients are getting. So just keep amping that up, amp up the marketing. Um, because like I said, it's very rare that you're going to send out one email and then your entire program is like completely full. Um, so let's just be based in reality there. It does take a lot of marketing to fill up programs. Um, and you know, you'll start to get even better at the marketing and it'll become like second nature to you. So it won't take up tons of time, but really that's, it's really essential in the beginning to get people into that sales funnel, get them to trust you and just to really keep marketing to them. Um, you know, and that also, what part of that is also you being confident in what you're selling, which is why I really, really suggest that people do all their market research and know what it is their ideal client really wants. So I personally could not create a group program until I had worked with enough one-on-one -on -one clients to really know what um, a lot of women would really desire from a group program, right? So I did my research. I know that my mentor in particular spends about $65,000 on market research alone in a, in a year's time. Um, so, you know, it's really essential that you know your client inside and out so that you are confident that what you're selling to them is something that they really need and is going to get them the results that they want. Um, so that's really key. I mean, so much of this goes back to mindset and confidence. Um, you know, you, of course, you can't run a business unless you have that PayPal button on your website. Obviously, mindset isn't going to get the funds into your bank. Um, but at the same time, you know, I have worked really, really diligently on being confident about my services, putting myself out there, continually marketing, being pretty much unabashedly um, 
in your face about, <laughs> in a good way, about my programs and what's coming up for me and what I'm doing in my life. And I'm really big on sharing my story. And, and so for that reason, I personally don't write my newsletters far ahead of time. I write them pretty much either 24 or 48 hours before, sometimes even less than that <laughs> if it's been a busy day. Um, and so that's been really important to me, though, because I, I always want to connect with my my um, list on that level. So they know what's going on in my life. They know where I'm at. They know what's coming up next. Um, That connection is really, really key for me. And so any sort of emotional connection you can build with your list starting today that's only going to help you. And it's really funny, you know, the, the posts that I've been a bit nervous about putting out or the newsletters I've been nervous about writing because they were very personal. Those have been my most um, popular ones. And those have been the ones that have really drawn people to me. Um, and so I would really recommend that you go there, you go deep, you be real um, people, whatever is personal is universal. And so keep remembering that in everything you do in terms of your um when you connect with your ideal client via Facebook ads, landing pages, your teleclasses and your webinars, um, you know, when you, when you try and, and share your programs and your services with people, like how can you really connect with them? Um, how can you be on their level? How can you understand the pain they're going through or any sort of goals that they have? Um, and then of course, you know, when you're on calls with potential clients and doing, you know, consultations or discovery sessions, whatever you want to call them, really connect with people and be confident, of course, but have that connection. Like you are talking to a friend over coffee and, um, don't be so rigid. (laughs) I know that there's a lot of fears that come up for, for women in particular during these sales conversations, but be confident that you are the expert and that your potential client really needs to hear what you have to say. And that means they need to hear about your services and your products because you have these unique talents, you have these gifts for the world. And so believe that people, people need to experience them. That's so, so important because it's true. And one of the ways I want to help you do this and do really big things in the world is through my iHeart coaching program. So if you go with me right now to iheartcoaching.com, so it's I H E A R T coaching.com. Um, I'm going to tell you all about my brand new program, which is super exciting. Um, so it's for the woman who's ready to really be extraordinary. I believe that all of us are called to be extraordinary. All of us are called to do um, whatever it is that we desire to do in our hearts. And I, you know, am super passionate about the coaching industry and know that a lot of women out there have the desire to help someone and help, you know, people around the world, but they don't know how to make it happen. So this program is for you if you're looking to start your coaching business and do really big things. Um, and so really it's, it's a six month program. Um, I've designed it for people who are just starting out. So if that's you, that's okay. And I've also designed it for women who already have a business, but aren't necessarily getting the success that they're longing for. Maybe they're having that period of 54 no's just like I did. Um, and so it's a really incredible program and it covers everything from mindset, um, to really all of the business stuff, all of the structures that you need to get your business started and to start making money working with clients, um, to learn how to become more successful at sales, really the works. So I'm just going to run you through a little bit more information here, just because I want you to hear firsthand from me a little bit more about the program and why I created it. So if we start off, um, with month one, we go through what it is that you really desire. Um, why do you want to start a business? Why do you want to help people in the world? Why do you want to do this big thing? Um, what is the type of life that lights you up? A lot of times people, women, women in particular, they kind of think, well, you know, maybe this is you as well. They think, well, I should just be grateful for what I have. I shouldn't really stretch myself too thin. I shouldn't really shoot for the stars, blah, blah, blah. I shouldn't step outside of the box. I should just be normal. Um, but who wants to be normal? <laughs> what is it that you really desire from your life? Um, we also look at lots of mindset things like your thoughts and words and how they're affecting your reality. As you heard me say in previous video, in t- previous audios, um, our thoughts and words create our reality and are really, really powerful. So we need to get a hold on what's going on, you know, with your mindset before we start building your business. 
And then again, we go more um, into more mindset stuff, which is living as if and queen mindset. So how are you um, living as if you already have the life that you desire? Most likely, you're probably not. And so we can start really, really small and then build our way up. But it's important to step into the life that you want straight away. Um, For me, I used to um, tip more at Starbucks because there was a time where I didn't tip at all. And I um, was really cheap in that respect, I'll admit it. Um, So I started to step into the life that I desired, even though I didn't have tons of money yet, I knew that it was on its way. So I so I paid another example was I paid an additional $5 on my credit card um, every month. So things like that. So how can we step into the life you desire today, which will take um, well, which will make a huge difference in, in your life and the, the, the speed at which you get the success that you want. And then we'll talk about queen mindset. That might sound very strange to you right now, but how are you living like a slave girl instead of a queen um, or a woman, you know, with it all? What actions are really keeping you broke and keeping you in that sort of slave girl or working girl um, sort of mode? Um, and then we'll go deep with your money story because you've heard me talk about that. It, it's essential for you to start bringing in the money that you want. We all have a money story. Um, and then from there, we really start looking at your ideal client. We start to research what that ideal client actually wants from you, um, what's going to attract them to you and your brand. Um, We talk about your website. We talk about what programs you want to offer your ideal client, what systems and structures and contracts you need to have in place to make that happen. Um, We talk about discovery sessions, what they are, how how to get your clients to sign up. Um, and then you get a lot of bonuses from me. You get access to a real live discovery session. You get my audios on overcoming objections. You get a website tutorial with my graphic designer. Um, so lots of things to help you start on the right foot and build that foundation that will really take you to the top. Um, then month four, we go and work on your copy and that includes your homepage, your sales page and your about page. So we want to learn how to capture your ideal client's attention straight away. We also work on your branding and photography. I love photography sessions and I didn't always, I cried after my first one. So we'll talk about that and, and what will set you apart within the industry. Um, we finalize your website. We work on your marketing. So how to get you out there and more visible, how to put you in front of your people. Um, and then you get more bonuses. You get access to lo- two live coaching calls, um, that I did with a client. So you get to hear those. Um, and then you also receive five lucky ladies will also receive website makeovers from James and myself. And you'll also have a special guest expert, um, my photographer, Amanda. So she will be teaching you all about what to, what to really focus on in terms of building your brand, how to get, um, the best possible photography session you can get. Uh, and she'll, she'll be the expert in that industry. So we'll have her as a big part of, of that month's work. Then month five, we talk about building your list. Um, So how do you get people on your newsletter list? What do you even say to them when they're on your list? (laughs) Um, We talk about creating your first opt-in offer. I know that might sound like a foreign language, but you have to, as you heard in this training, you have to have something that you're giving people for free. You don't just send them from a Facebook ad to a landing page or a sales page. Um, you send them to um, a page that has this opt-in offer, not a page that just tells them about your program. So what are you going to make for what are you going to make that's a free offer for your ideal client to really get to know you and to like you and to trust you? Um, and then we will be doing Facebook ads training with my Facebook ad experts. So that will be essential to you getting the success that you want. And again, more bonuses, you'll get to hear real live coaching sessions, access to my most successful teleclass and my um, most successful opt ins. Um, and you'll get special Q and a calls two of them with our Facebook ad expert in addition to a video training that she'll do with you to teach you all about Facebook ads. So lots of exciting stuff that month. Then finally, month six, you get to learn more about landing pages. So that's where your opt-in will actually live. So if you think about it, when you click on a Facebook ad, it takes you to a landing page and that's where your opt-in lives. So we'll learn about that. We'll learn about how you attach a sales funnel to your landing page so that when someone opts in for your free offer, your free gift, they get an email sequence from you. And that will market to them, share more about you, and also get them to purchase from you. So it's really, really key. Um, You'll learn more about coaching techniques um, and the skills that I think you really need to hone to be the the best coach you can be. Um, But don't worry, by that point, you would have heard me on weekly group calls coaching your, your colleagues. You would have heard 
live group co- or live calls that I've recorded um, with my own clients just for you. So you will have lots of experience with coaching techniques. Um, I really learned through osmosis and through being on group calls myself. And so there's so much you can learn by just being present and really um, listening to a coach coach other women. Um, it's not really something you can learn in a book. You have to hear it and you have to be immersed in it, kind of like learning a new language. Um, so that's really essential to this program. And um, again, you'll get even more bonuses that month. You'll get access to my top converting Facebook ads and sales funnels um, and get more coaching sessions. And then finally, we have graduation at the Ritz Paris, which is super exciting. It's reopening for the first time in years um, in 2016. And so I will love. I would love for you to join me there for a day of training. Um, and it's going to be absolutely incredible to meet the women that you've been in this program with for six months <laughs> in person and obviously meet James and myself. So you're probably wondering what's included in this program. That was obviously the curriculum. So every week throughout the six months, you get a weekly call with me. And um, again, it will be a group call. And so you'll get to have your questions answered, but there will be other women on the phone, but it's actually an incredible way to learn. We really find that whatever is personal is universal. And so um, if you have a question, I guarantee someone else has a similar one. Um, So we all benefit. Then you also get a monthly call with James and James is incredible at um, the mindset work. He's incredible business stuff as well, but um, he's an amazing life coach and, and specializes in mindset work and confidence and really helping you to become the successful woman that I know you want to be. So as we, even as we up level in our business and we go to, um, get, get even more successful, there's new mindset issues that creep up. And so it's always important to have that support and someone who can help you move past any of those blocks. And then you also get a private Facebook group and you get um, 24 extensive course modules. So that was the curriculum I just described to you. And that will include workbooks and videos and audios, a variety of different ways to help you learn um, everything you need to learn to build a successful coaching business. Then, like I said, you get your event at the Ritz Paris, and you also get access to a lot of my I Heart My Life experts. Um, So I try and be really connected with other industry experts. women. (laughs) So whether it's graphic designers or Facebook ads or photographers, you will get access to my people (laughs) and all of their knowledge. So that's really, really exciting. And there's an exclusive opportunity for those of you that want to take it to the next level. We're offering a VIP opportunity. So this is your chance to become even more of a coaching superstar. Um, And with that investment, you get a bonus call with me, which will be much more interactive. It'll include things like reviewing your actual marketing, branding, photography, landing pages, Facebook ads, and websites. And those will be held once a month, like I said. You also get office hours with James. So again, like I said, you need that extra support as you're building a business. We're not born successful female entrepreneurs. So you will get one-on-one time with my husband, James, via Skype, which will be really essential to your development and just such an amazing opportunity. Um, And then you'll also get a bonus day at the Ritz Paris, which means you get two days with us in training, not just one. Um, So I highly recommend that you... Uh, register for the VIP opportunity ASAP because there's only a a small number of spaces available. Obviously, it's VIP. So we want to make it more exclusive and more intimate. So you get that higher level of training. Um, So hopefully that is very exciting to you. Again, I'm on iheartcoaching.com. You can definitely take a look at the early bird bonuses, you're going to want to register as soon as possible. So you can get all of those, you can save 1000s of dollars, Um, you get recorded guest expert trainings, um, just so you can start getting uh, the info that you that I know that you want straight away, you get access to our top Facebook ads, you get a bonus orientation, all of that for signing up ASAP. Um, and you also get the lower investment price. And you can also head over to iHeart Coaching just to see what our previous clients have to say. We put together these gorgeous testimonials. <laughs> so you can see straight from the horse's mouth, what our clients have had to say about working with us. So if you are ready to learn the exact marketing strategies that took me from broke to over six figures in sales in my first six months in business, and then obviously to over half a million in sales in my first year, this is for you. I'm really adamant about you compressing your timeline, getting the support that you need, investing in your dreams instead of playing that business guessing game that I know you don't want to pay, don't want to play for the next year or two.
Um, I'm really excited about you starting to make money as a coach. It doesn't have to take forever. It doesn't have to take ages for you to get the life and business of your dreams. I'm living proof. So make the decision that this is right for you today um, and get yourself registered for iHeart Coaching before the price goes up and before the program is full. Um, really, by you saying yes to your dreams, it shows the universe that you're really doing this. Um, I saw that firsthand when I invested in my first group program. Everything started to shift, not just in my business, but in my life. I was really, you know, so I started to be taken more seriously. I had a brand that was more noticeable. So please, if you are confused about how to make your, your dream life and business a reality, don't play the guessing game. Just get yourself in this program. I promise it will be incredible. Um, it will be life changing. I I do promise you that. Um, and I'd love to meet you and work with you over the next six months and support you and building your business and really stepping into the woman that I know that you have always wanted to be. And of course, I want to support you in being extraordinary. Um, and really just, you know, if this is your dream and you've been sitting on the fence for a long time, just go for it. Um, you know, there's no point in waiting. Um, I, as I always say, you know, my clients get results like yesterday and that's really important to me too. It's not about rushing, but it's also about, um, really just going for it. I said to a client today, I said, you know, I, I really believed that Oprah was going to call me up on stage last September. <laughs> and some people would say that's totally delusional. But for me, you know, I've always believed in the best case scenario in terms of my business, especially in the past six months. Um, and, and then I've been pleasantly surprised you know, by what does happen, what shows up, what opportunities come my way. You know, this opportunity, I, I, I did a photo shoot at Kate Spade and it's a really funny story. I, I, um, went there and bought a bunch of clothes for my photo shoot. And I spoke to the manager and said, could I do the photo shoot in your store? And she said, well, you need to contact the marketing manager. Cause I'm not sure. So I contacted that person and they didn't respond to me. And so I decided I was going to show up at the Kate Spade store, um, with my photographer and pretend like they gave me permission. And so I did that. I got a bunch of pictures taken in the store and they were really, really sweet to us. So Um, but that actually ended up turning into this opportunity to do an event with Kate Spade. Um, and then they're doing another event for the women in my group program, which is absolutely incredible. So you never know what's going to happen when you say yes to your dreams and you step up to the plate and you really go for it in in a very big way. Um, so hold that faith in yourself, hold that faith in your services and your, and, and be, be that confident, successful female entrepreneur. And like I said, you know, the, the ways that you really do this in terms of structure, structures are to figure out your ideal client, what lights you up, what lights them up, design, design your program or your offering just for them. And also, um, you know, something that really speaks to their pain points and gets them the results that they want. Then you have to market to them. You can use Facebook ads. You can do any sort of social media, newsletters, solo mailers, everything. Then you can send them to landing pages. And then from there, they will get um, the chance to register for something that you're offering them, like a teleclass or a webinar or some sort of digital download where they can really get to know you, get to know what you're offering, get to know your company and build that connection. And then from there, you just keep marketing. You keep going for it. You keep amping up the energy. You keep believing in your worth. You keep getting yourself in front of them and you are personal and you are... Um, you, you connect with them in a really big way. It's so, so important. Um, and again, like I said, it's, it's about marketing over and over. It's not just that one time. I wish it was just like going to the gym. You can't just go once and then be fit forever. Um, so that's really, really key. And then of course, when you get your client on the phone, you connect with them again and you're confident about what it is that you're selling and you go deep with them. I have a whole discovery session process that I go through with my clients and it's really amazing actually. Like one of the things that transformed my business was me really learning how to conduct a discovery session because it's so important and I was doing it completely wrong. So that's a huge, that's another call in itself. So if you want support with that, please email me at emily at iheartmylife.com because all of my programs include support with that. And it's really, it's essential. You know, I had 54 no's in a row and I now know the reason why that was. Um, and so it's really key if you're in that similar place that you um, start getting the information and the expertise um, that you really need to take your sales process to the next level. Um, so that's a little bit about structures and sales in terms of taking your business from, from nothing or to the 6K all the way up to the six figures. Um, there's tons more information I could give you. So please do connect with me if you're interested in learning more or potentially working together. 
I'd love to hear from you. You can email me at emily at iheartmylife.com. And the next training in this series will be wrapping it all up and putting it together. Um, And so look for that in your inbox soon. Thank you. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye. I hope you loved today's episode. I obviously talked a lot about investing in your dreams. I talked about working with mentors and having that community to support you and going to the next level. If that's something you're craving, go to iheartmylifebooking.com and book a call with our Clarity Coaches to see what we have available to support you in your own up level. We want to help you and we want to help you compress that timeline to everything you are craving. You deserve to be fully supported. Until next time, I'm Emily Williams. Thank you so much for being a part of the I Heart My Life show. We hope you love this episode. Thank you so much for being an avid listener of the I Heart My Life show. Take a second and leave a review. It would mean so much to us and we read all of them. And for further inspiration and life and business tips about creating a life that you love and achieving massive success, definitely follow us at I Heart My Life on Instagram and at I Heart My Life Now on Facebook. See you next time.